What can you tell us about your raw materials? If that is your angle, you really are wasting my time. It was uh, definitely a surreal experience because I had been obsessed with the show before and was a big fan. And so then to get to step onto the casino set or like drive past Marty, <laughs> Marty and Wendy's house was super surreal. Um, but it's also just, a, it was a fantastic vibe on set and very professional. And yes, everyone knows what they're doing and it's very friendly and open and, and relaxed and um, kind of, I think, celebratory as well because everyone knew this was the last season. So um, nothing was being taken for granted. I think it was, a, it was a really wonderful thing to be a part of. We're thinking specifically about uh, the opium. You, you need that for your, your best selling drug, right? And, and that's out of Tasmania, right? I mean, once I got past being shocked that I was looking at Laura Linney and Jason Bateman, like, oh my God, I'm talking to Marty. Uh, they're wonderful and warm and generous, and you feel like instantly one of one of the family. And uh, you know, Jason's cracking jokes and um, just having keeping the the feeling sort of light on set. Um, and he's kind of how you would imagine he would be, just great. <laughs> So you get these very funny scenes that are kind of, you know, searing and also hysterical looks at relationships and dating and single life. And um, and then, then you have these songs that kind of take those practical ideas and then make it all about like a, um, a more of an emotional thought process. Um, and, and the fact that they do still resonate even, you know, now and as well as with the gender s switch.